Alright fishy folks, I'm here in Frederick, Maryland at Rick's Fish and Pet Supply and they're doing some construction. So I had a hard time finding it. Old school fish store, let's go inside. Mask, no entry. I've got my mask on. Love it. All right, fishy folks. So I needed to remove the audio because of the music in the store. So here we have a pond that supposedly has koi. That sign said it, but I didn't see it. It's a nice little planted tank up here uh, with some other stuff here's sort of an overview of the store they have some dog stuff and some small animal stuff and birds and this i think is like a used tank section that's what it looked like some of it was clean some of it not so much um and then we go into the reptiles and small animal stuff it's a very old school pet shop which i like they had a huge reptile section which i didn't get any film of they were putting away an order of dry goods and a order of uh, live fish had just come in and we'll see it at the end actually. Here are their filters, they have Eaheim canisters and their fertilizers and chemicals and such. And nets and of course their pumps and hang on back filters and supplies. Here's a nice little Star Wars tank with an at, -AT or at, -AT side the planet you come from so here's the fish room they had you have some salt water on half of it and uh, these are the tanks um, there's really nothing mind-blowing here as far as fish uh, it's very like I said old-school pet store um, the tanks look pretty clean uh, the livestock looked very healthy uh, it was very dark in here which really isn't a problem because the tanks are lit up so you can see here's their bagging station their net bucket with their bags and so on and so forth um, they did have a very large selection of fish and like I said they all looked healthy um, here are some rainbows and some other things glow lights um, I'm sorry glow fish they had plenty of and they uh, they sort of, there's a little sign written on one of the tanks that says these aren't dive fish, they're genetically modified. Which when you say genetically modified, it kind of sounds like it's not as, it's, it's just as bad as dying, but it really isn't. I mean, when you think about it, we sort of modify dogs and cats to look like we want. It's not really genetically modifying, but we do breed them specifically for those traits. Here's a tank with some Oscars. Probably uh, adoptions would be my guess. I think this is sort of an adopted tank also. Really cool turtle. Um, I've always wanted a turtle, but I've never really had the, the ability because I live in New Jersey. Some more Oscars. And uh, that room over there was the reptile room. So now we're looking at some rams. And I think we got guppies in there as well, which is very strange to me. Uh, rams like soft, warm water. Uh, guppies like hard not as warm water so very weird uh, they had some decent looking um, discus not, again nothing super special but just nice wild caught discus 250 each um, I've never been to another store in Virginia uh, I'm sorry in Maryland so I don't really know uh, pricing the prices seemed pretty good or I should say normal for me but I live in New Jersey so you know there's a lot of stuff in Jersey uh, a lot of expense in Jersey I mean and so here are some more um, guppies nothing really special with the guppies nothing that I was like oh I have to take some home and start breeding them um, but you know it is what it is like I said it was it's a nice old-school um, fish store and lots of variety lots of of different tanks and, and different kinds of fish, whether you want South American or African cichlids or tetras, hard water, soft water, small fish, big fish, they pretty much had it all. Um, 
Yeah, so like I said, really nothing super amazing that I was like, wow, I've never seen that before. Um, but again, nothing bad either. So uh, if you're in the area and you need to look at a fish store, certainly check this one out. Um, nobody asked if they could help me. I did ask if I could film and the guy was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And that was that. Um, I think, quite frankly, they were really busy putting away this big fish order. I'll show you the boxes at the end. I think I, I see them. I see some fiddler crabs. Um, um, you know what I didn't see here is any really nice plecos. I think there are some gold nuggets, or at least a sign for gold nuggets. Oh, that was a tank that said um, pondfish, which I thought was kind of neat. It said pondfish even though they're in a like 20 gallon tank. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't recall seeing any plecos. I think I saw a sign for a gold nugget pleco or maybe a royal pleco. Um, but you know, I don't remember seeing them. I am not sure how old this fish store is, but it looked pretty old, well maintained, but old at the same time kind of what I like in a fish store. Uh, they did have an auto water change system that seemed to be going off as I was filming as well. You can see the bubbles there of water coming in. Um, I, there must have been at least 100 tanks of fish, and I think there were 20 longs. They might have been 15s, um, but I'm really thinking there were 20 longs. And uh, they had a good selection. Oh, there's the Royals. I think that sticker is from Seagrest. Um, the truck that was outside had Georgia tags on it or plates, wherever you're from. Um, and Seagrest is in Florida, so I don't, I don't know if it was a rental. I don't know if that is Seagrest, but that's what those stickers reminded me of. <clears throat> and so that sign says Gold Nugget Pleco, and I remember looking at it and then looking for the Gold Nugget Pleco, but I didn't see it. This row is pretty interesting. We have some goldfish uh, and some live bears pretty much on this side. So they had these signs, QC um, and not for sale. It looks like they had an ick outbreak in a lot of these tanks, but they did write the dates on the tanks of what medication they gave, which I thought was pretty good. Um, small comments. Some black moors, um, which I thought was great to show people that even uh, pet stores get fish that are sick and they have to treat them. And it also shows people that hey, they do care. Like this one had EM and salt. I don't know what the problem was. I didn't ask. Like I said, they were really busy with that order. Um, but I think that's good that they're being open and upfront. These fish aren't for sale. They're sick. And here is what we're treating with. I'm sure if I would have asked, they would have told me uh, those goldfish are just creepy as heck. There's the pondfish sign I was talking about. Man, I suck at filming. I'm so fast. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's it's been like over a year since I did a fish room tour, and I, I mean a fish store tour. And and blatantly honest, you know I suck at them. I go way too fast unless it's something I like. And uh, even then, it's like, I'm still kind of fast. So anyway, these are the, uh, the live bearers I was telling you about. Lots of mollies, lots of uh, platies and sore tails. Uh, they had some small piranha, and I think this is big piranha coming up, or the next tank over had big piranha. But you can see the different variety of fish in the tanks. Pea puffers, there's like three of them. Um, yeah, there's the extra large piranha, 130 bucks. My guess is somebody bought that, it got too big or too nasty for them, and they returned it. Um, the light bearers looked okay. I didn't really see much fry, but the tanks really aren't set up for fry. Um, I'm sure they, they do a real nice job caring for their fish. It looked like everybody was, was healthy-ish. You know, of course, the tanks that were being treated, but I didn't see any dead fish. I didn't see any fish that looked sickly, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, I'm going too fast. I gotta get better at this. But I was really excited. A fish store tour during COVID. So look at all these boxes they got, right? That, that's a nice saltwater you know, sort of tank. But look at all these 
styros and, and bags that they have out of the order they're putting away. So I didn't really want to get in their way. I felt like um, I was sort of being a nuisance in the fish room. So they had a lot of stuff behind the counter. I don't know if they have a lot of theft or that's just the way you know their store is set up. But there are some more meds and foods back there. Uh, they had uh, Hikari and um, Tetra and some other foods as well. Now this is something I've never seen before. This giant Aquadyne nutritional system for food. I like the sign, no whining. But clearly it looks like they don't use it much with all the stuff that's on it. Uh, here there's a little beta tank for sale, carnivorous plants. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I considered buying one just because I thought it was cool, but then I didn't. Here's a Galaxy Better for 30 bucks. Um, I don't know that that's a $30 beta in my mind. Uh, it looked pretty small and skinny, and of course my phone's not focusing. Um, it's funny because I packed up my camera. This is a nice little saltwater tank. Those are the clownfish I really like. Um, I packed my camera up because I had planned to come here and, and do this tour for you guys. I get everything all set up. I get into the store and realize I don't have an SD card. I went to three stores looking for SD cards in this little strip mall. Couldn't find it. Dark Frog's pretty neat setup. Um, here's a big goldfish tank. I think it's a seven foot tank. Um, I don't know what size it is. Um, Alright folks, that pretty much does it for the tour. It was a great little shop. Um, if you like community fish or you know the common common stuff they have it so they have some odd stuff too guys hope you liked it